assembly is the exact opposite. Just place the extractor back on once you've cleaned it. Just compress the rear springs and insert the pin. That's just finger tight. Just make sure the pin is all the way in the bolt and not protruding out from either side. The extractor side of the bolt faces the right hand side of the rifle or the part of the rifle marked Barrett on the carrier. Just push that in and you want to line up the hole in the bolt with the hole in the cam pin slot. We're going to take our cam pin, insert it into the bolt and then pull the bolt forward. This lines up the firing pin channel so that you can then insert your firing pin. As far as cleaning the firing pin, it's chrome plated. Uh, all you really need to do is wipe it down with an oily rag. Slide that in all the way. Make sure the pin and the bolt are all the way forward. And then we can reinsert the firing pin retaining pin. Piece of cake. There we go. You just want to test to make sure that the bolt rotates freely and doesn't bind. Uh, points of lubrication, things to keep in mind. Uh, you can just look to see where the shiny spots are here. Those are the wear points. Uh, this is where the carrier actually rides in the upper receiver. You're going to want to put some grease uh, here along the key, on these parts down here, in these grooves. And you can see this is where the bolt carrier rides over the fire control groove parts in the lower receiver. Uh, some lubrication on the rear end of the carrier also. Okay, now that we've got our bolt carrier and bolt group back together. I'm going to start putting the rifle back together. As we do that, I just want to point out the areas that you want to clean and lubricate. As I mentioned before, when we we're talking about the bolt, you want to clean out these the locking lugs. Uh, in the upper receiver, you also want to clean out the corresponding portions of the barrel extension where those lugs fit in. As far as lubrication, uh, I mentioned the points on the carrier that you should add some grease. Uh, if you want to add some to the inside of the rifle receiver, you can typically see where the uh, wear points are. When you take your gun apart, putting some light grease uh, on there is a good idea. So for reassembling the upper, you're going to take your charging handle. Uh, you can see the two um, retaining tabs that are formed into the sides of the handle. Uh, just insert this into the receiver until those tabs line up with the corresponding slot. And push up and just put the charging handle in about halfway. With the bolt pulled all the way forward, we're going to line this up with the inside, the underside of the charging handle. And once you get that into the receiver, just push it forward with your finger and the whole assembly will slide forward. As far as cleaning the, the gas piston, uh, typically the only part of that that gets dirty is the actual face of the piston itself. If you get any caked on carbon deposits, a uh, scrubby pad or bristle brush or a wire brass brush is, is good for scraping that off. Just going to slide the piston back in. And we're just going to reinsert the gas plug. The gas plug is uh, uh, chrome plated uh, for corrosion resistance. Uh, sometimes you do get uh, carbon deposits on it which can be fairly significant. So uh, one of the things I like to do is uh, just put some anti-seize compound on there to make sure that the plug uh, pops out without a problem. Reinstalling the plug is very simple. With the flat side facing the barrel, just push it into the gas block. Push it in the retaining pin and rotate the plug 180 degrees until the retaining pin snaps into the catch on the side of the plug. And that's all there is to the upper receiver. On the lower receiver, uh, and uh, for normal maintenance, you don't have to uh, take anything apart. You don't have to remove the fire control group or any of the other parts. Uh, it's easily accessible for uh, scrubbing out with uh, some gun scrubber or some brake cleaner. Um, you can lubricate the parts with the Q-tip from here. Uh, one caution, uh, you should never ever pull the trigger on the uh, AR-15 type lower with the Rec-7 when the upper is not attached because if the hammer slams forward into this part of the receiver here, you can actually crack the aluminum lower. And that goes for any AR-15 or M16 type rifle. Once you clean that out, you want to put the two halves back together. Just fit them together and push the pins through. I typically push the rear pin through first and then the front pin. It doesn't really matter. That's just my habit.
and that's how you get the rifle back together. Uh, magazine maintenance uh, with any magazine. Uh, if you have to, if the magazine's getting dirty, you can just pop the floor plate off the bottom and you can run a, a dry rag through that. Uh, you don't ever want to lubricate the inside of your magazines because that attracts more dirt. Okay. You want to check and make sure that the magazine drops free on its own. Do a function check on the rifle. Once again, we're going to lock the bolt to the rear. We're going to verify that there's no ammunition in the gun vi visually and physically. We'll lower the bolt into the firing position. With the gun on safe, press the trigger. Nothing happens. Put the safety in the fire position, press the trigger. You can hear the hammer go forward and the firing pin go forward. So we know that the gun has been reassembled correctly. And that's all there is to maintaining your Barrett Rec 7 rifle.